In this edition of our Manual for Nonviolent Struggle, we will talk about power and pillars of support. Nonviolent struggle is a form of peaceful warfare. In order to win and make your vision of tomorrow possible, you still need political power. The struggle for power takes many forms. Elections, coup d'etat, guerrilla war, conventional war, nuclear war or nonviolent struggle. The one you are committed to. But, if you are to fight for social power, you have to know how it works. Too often people imagine power like a monolith, with the ruler on top deciding everything. And the guys on top want you to think of it this way. But this model is not reality. Power in society comes from the people. And in other words, it can be found in many different places. There are six main sources of power in society. One, the authority of the ruler. Two, human resources, or simply put, the people. Three, the skills and knowledge of those who cooperate with the ruler. Four, material resources. Five, intangible factors. And six, sanctions. And how does the oppressor use his power? Easy through the organizations and institutions that support him. Amongst them, the bureaucracy, the police and military, the judicial system, religions, the educational system, business institutions, and so on and so on. We call these organizations and institutions that are central to holding up the structure of power, the pillars of support. If you can manage to withdraw support from institutions that your opponent controls, your opponent will collapse. But, how do you do this? Looking closely, you can see that it is people who are at the core of every institution. By themselves, rulers cannot collect taxes, enforce repressive laws, keep trains running on time, direct traffic, print money, repair roads, keep markets supplied with food, or build missiles. They can't even milk a cow. And if the people stop providing these services, the ruler cannot rule. Finding a way to influence people's attitudes towards the institutions they make up is crucial, and so is choosing the right way to pull people out from the pillars of support to make them support you instead of the oppressor. The obedience of the people and their willingness to follow orders keep these pillars functional. If the support of these pillars is withdrawn or weakened, eventually the system will collapse. Remember, if people do not obey, rulers cannot rule. This is it for now, but join us for the next episode of our manual for nonviolent struggle when we'll be talking more about obedience.